has been running for quite a number of years, um, probably about 12 years plus now, and it makes a wonderful contribution to the local community. It's a way of crossing boundaries, bringing people together, forming a bond with people that otherwise wouldn't have an opportunity to come out and meet people. Jazz and music are two ways of actually crossing all those boundaries. Great opportunity to allow the university alumni to come into the theatre and do some music, live performance. Uh, we particularly like it at the Rose because it draws in uh, a community crowd. Uh, it's a free concert. We normally have between 100 and 110 people come in and listen to the ambient music. <laughs> I like to hear the live music and it's quite fun because you get to chat to different people if you want to, you don't have to. So it's quite, it's just an enjoyable hour in the day. It's quite fun. I think you should come to the Rose because as I said before, we, we are a producing theatre, we're trying to produce amazing work and we are much cheaper than the West End and we're even cheaper than the National Theatre. And if you live locally, you haven't got to get the last train back. There's quite a cross section. So we have um, quite a number of retired folk who otherwise don't have an opportunity to come out and meet their friends or can't afford to come out with the current cost of living crisis. We have people from local um, health centres who are recommended to come here because music is recognised as a good contribution to supporting mental health issues and lifting people's mood. We have a number of mother and baby um, groups that, that pop in, um, may not stay for the whole session depending on the children, but they love being here. So it's nice to see a complete cross-section of the community. Um,